What's up guys? Today we're going to take a look at the frequency of the Mosky Silver Horse Klon Clone. As I did with the uh, Wampler Tumnus, we're going to do the same thing, but this one has a toggle switch on it, and right now what you're looking at is just the pink noise, the pedal is off, and we're going to start with everything at 12 o'clock, and then we're going to run through the exact way I did with the Tumnus. I'm also going to uh, just include a side-by-side -side screenshot of this at 12 o'clock with the upward position in the toggle switch and the downward position opposed to the Wampler at 12 o'clock. And uh, with that said, we're also going to take a look at some pictures of the charge pump on the Silver Horse versus the Golden Horse and uh, if you don't know what a charge pump is it's a voltage doubler so it takes the pedal takes nine volts it's uh, you know negative center and what the charge pump does and we'll get into that a little bit later on is double nine volts to 18 so I already took a look at the caps and everything in and they're rated you know 35 volt so it definitely can handle the 18 volt and I saw a lot of discussions on this pedal and I thought let's do a video and really see the frequency of this and I saw a lot of people going back and forth because this has uh, diodes it also has leads in it and it it's a $30 pedal versus you know a $150 pedal so right now I'm going to engage the pedal, you're going to see the pink noise change, and we are seeing everything at 12 o'clock, toggle switch up. Now when I played this, I noticed a difference from, there, there was, uh, you know, I, I read some comments and they said they didn't hear a difference. I actually heard a difference where they're saying the toggle up is using the diodes, it sounded darker to me. When I put it downward, it sounded more like the tumness. So I'm going to switch the toggle switch downward, and you could immediately see we got more power, more output of the pedal at 12 o'clock in the downward position of the toggle. But what we're going to do is we're going to start with it in the up position everything at noon we're gonna take the output and we're gonna turn it down to nine o'clock and then we're gonna go ahead and turn it all the way off which is gonna disappear everything so we don't have any noise floor right now or anything like that now we're gonna go back to twelve o'clock and now we're gonna go back well we're gonna go to three o'clock so that's at 3 o'clock, and then we're going to max that out. And we're going to back the volume, or the output, whatever you want to call it, back to 12 o'clock. The gain, we're going to back down now to 9 o'clock. Now we're going to reduce the gain all the way. and now we're gonna set the gain back to 12 and then we're gonna go to 3 o'clock now so right now we're at 3 o'clock on the gain and we are gonna max the gain out and now we're gonna go back to 12 o'clock on the gain the treble we're gonna reduce down to 9 o'clock now we're going to turn the treble all the way down. We're going to bring the treble back up to 12 o'clock. And then we're going to increase that to 3 o'clock. Now we'll max the treble out. And then we're going to reduce the treble back to 12 o'clock. So everything's back to 12 we're gonna switch the toggle switch now from the upward to the downward position 
and we're gonna repeat the process so volume which is the output we're gonna reduce to nine o'clock and then all the way down and then we're gonna go back to twelve o'clock and then we're gonna go to three o'clock and then we're gonna max it out so you could already see there is a higher output on this pedal with the toggle switch in the downward position we're gonna back the output down to 12 the gain we're gonna reduce down to 9 o'clock and then we're gonna go ahead and reduce the gain all the way bring the gain back up to 12 and then we're gonna bring the gain up to 3 o'clock and we're gonna go ahead and increase the gain all the way bring the gain back to 12 and we're gonna take the treble roll it down to 9 o'clock we're gonna reduce the treble all the way and then we're gonna go ahead increase the treble back to 12 and we're gonna roll that right to 3 o'clock and then we're gonna max the treble out now and then we're gonna reduce the treble back to 12 o'clock and then we're gonna switch the toggle back now to the upward position so the people that are saying in my opinion that the golden horse versus the silver horse you're using the diodes in the upward position on the toggle that does not coincide with what, what, what I'm seeing right here the upward seems as though it's using the LEDs and in the downward position it seems like it's using the diodes because the LEDs are soft clippers where the diodes are hard clippers and you're gonna get a much uh, you're gonna get a volume difference in that and I think people are wrong with that in my opinion I could be wrong but that's what I'm seeing right here and that's what I was hearing as for the noise um, this pedal is a little noisier than the Wampler Tumnus. So we're going to go ahead and switch this pedal off and we're going to bring this picture up. So this is the golden horse that you're looking at now. This, this is the gold one. Your uh, caps are the 47 microfarad 35 volt and then you got your uh, diodes over here at C16 and C15 and this is the charge pump area this is where your 9 volt come in and this is the tiny charge pump on the golden horse as you can see it there's a full size charge pump which is uh, the voltage but they they chose on the golden horse to use the smaller one and they might have changed this because I read a lot of different stuff and I'm not exactly sure if they changed the golden horse or not but switching over to this picture this is the silver horse and there is the diodes with C16 and C15 uh, you can see this is the full size charge pump voltage doubler this is the 7660S so you can get these on Amazon you can get them you know at any uh, thing so if you wanted to I'm not quite sure with the golden horse but maybe you can you know desolder that and put the full size charge pump in make sure it's with the S because uh, that's for audio you're gonna get a uh, a whine to your pedal if you don't use the 7660 S and that's what this is and then the pin orientation you could see this has a little cutout and there is it shows it here on the board as does uh, this one here you can see 
So we're going to take a look at another picture and this is the silver horse. Now these are the diodes up here and then these are the LEDs. So the way the toggle switch works and what makes me think people are getting confused, this is in the up position. Now if you know anything about wiring a pedal, just because it's in the up position pointing to these diodes does not mean those are in use. Actually it means these are in use. If you flip it down, that means these are in use. And that's why it sounds better in the downward position to me. The other thing we want to take a look at here, and I'll even blow it up a little bit bigger, is the op amp. They're using the TL072C, which is the exact op amp that the original Klons used. All right, so let's take a look at some screenshots, and then after we discuss this, I'm just going to put the screenshots up so you can pause the video and get a better look at it. So if we look over here at the Tumnus, everything at 12, you can see it has more, you know, highs in it, and the peak is a little bit higher, and then there's more bottom end. So uh, I know Wampler, Brian, he uh, took care of uh, the bottom end. And the way you do that is you increase uh, the cap value of your capacitor. So um, that's probably how he corrected that. Over here with the Mosky, the toggle switch down, which I believe is using the diodes, it's not too far off. We're, this is 72 where this is 66. And it's not quite halfway, but, you know, you could see the highs. I don't think you're really, you know, going to notice it that much. But the curve is... Uh, still there and it's a little shy so it's not quite as loud but again where pot tolerance comes in so um, you know I just want everything off of uh, you know 12 o'clock that's not a 20 percent difference and then as we follow it down it it's very similar and uh, it's the bottom roll off you know this goes all the way off so you know Wampler is definitely a little more bassy and if you wanted to mod it you could probably change those caps out but uh, overall the frequencies definitely look the same now up here let me grab these this is the Tumnus everything at 12 you can see it's the same but this is the Mosky here with the toggle up and I believe this is the LEDs right away you can clearly see this is uh, you know coming in quite a bit lower. This is at 72 down here with toggle down and this is 72 with toggle up. Treble right away is down and then again you know it's keeping the same frequency response but the level it's below uh, you know 18 where this was 12 and this was 12 so much lower in volume output. As we come down we're seeing pretty much the same you know frequency curve but instead of being over here at the bottom end of uh, 30 we're over here at not even 60 so again you know I believe this is the LEDs so t let's take a look at the uh, pictures and you can pause it and get a better look for yourself 